Hi, my name is Jen and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library Hope Place Branch. And today's craft will be these very cute wine cork pumpkins, perfect for any table during the holidays or just as decoration around the house. Let me just get some items together and show you how we make them. For a wine cork pumpkin, we only need a couple of items. Um, to start, we're going to need 24 of about the same size wine corks. And you will also need one additional that you can either cut in half or if you would like, you could, um, they have these weird corks that are out there. These actually look really cool on the top as the stem. So these are for your stem. So in total, you'll need 25 corks, one for stem, 24 for your pumpkin. Also, you will need some leaves for your top. These are very cheap. You can get these in any local dollar store. Um, I got this for my stems. Also, you could use yarn, you can use twine, whatever you have on hand. And if you'd like to paint it like we did, you'll just need your fall colors. And acrylic paint I found was easiest. Uh, small paint brushes. We're gonna need some scissors and we're gonna use hot glue. Okay, so let's get started. This wine cork pumpkin is very simple to assemble. We're gonna do a couple layers. So our first layer before, then we're gonna do five then a layer of six corks, then we're gonna go back down to five, and then we're gonna go back down to four. So we're just gonna build it up. And again, you can use it, um, if you wanted to make a smaller one, you would just do the same thing where you would do two, three, two. So let's get started on our first layer. So what we're going to do, just run our hot glue. Okay, and make sure the ends match. Next one. So now we have our base. For each layer that I start, I like to start with my cork in the very center. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a nice dollop of glue on it, put it in the center, and then this layer will be five, so we'll build out two more on each side. Now moving on to our third. This one we can't obviously go in the center so I'm gonna start one right there and just let it fall in between the center of the two corks in the center. And then we'll build up two from that center. After our first three layers now we have the we're gonna go back down to five. So again, we're gonna start in the center. And just put five on this layer. We're on our last layer now, so we're gonna do our four across the top. Voila, we've got most of our pumpkin put together ready. This is what your 24 wine corks to start to build into a pumpkin should look like. Um, if you had corks that weren't the same size, it's not the end of the world. No pumpkin is perfect. It would just make it a little easier. You just might have to fit them in a little bit before you glue them down and make sure that they fit well and interlock okay. So this is our pumpkin. Now we have to do our top. You can either, like I said earlier, so you could take a cork and you can cut it in half and kind of cut it on a 45 degree angle and that'll give you a stem. You can place it wherever you'd like, somewhere in the center. But I like these little different corks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of put it off the side and glue it right there in the center, okay? Now that we have our pumpkin assembled, we're ready to decorate. If you choose to paint your pumpkin, you can either do the traditional orange, or I kind of like the um, different colors as well. So it's whatever you like. So all you're gonna do is just get a couple of fall colors, 
and I would use acrylic based paint because the corks tend to suck up the paint that way you're not using as much and all we're gonna do is just pick some circles paint around on the inside with my first color all I've done is I've just kind of jumped all over the pumpkin in different spots and added my burgundy-ish kind of color and now I'm going to jump into some more other fall colors so I'm going to finish painting this pumpkin and then I'm going to show you how to put on the leaves I finished painting our pumpkin so now we have all left to do is our stem decorations I have these beautiful uh, fake leaves fall colors so all I'm going to do is just glue them inside near the stem just run a bead of glue I just get the leaves as close to the stem as I possibly can. I've put leaves all around our stem. I just made sure to keep them as close to the, to the top cork as I could around the bottom because uh, we're going to wrap whatever you're going to use for the extra little twirl off of your stem. Now what we're going to do is add our little twirls and we're going to use this raffia or if you have string, if you have, um, you know, twine that'll work just fine too this is kind of like a straw and you can get this at any dollar store um, in all different colors I'm just winding it up a little bit and then what I like to do is just wind it around and go as close to the bottom as you can what we're gonna do is we're gonna knot it okay so it's not glued down yet. But once you get it where you want it to be, loosen up that knot just a little bit. Put just a little bit of hot glue in there and pull it tight. Whatever material you've chosen to use, just make sure that it's all the way down at the bottom of the cork uh, so it covers up the uh, leaves that we've glued down. And I'm gonna add a couple more pieces and then we'll be all done. This is our completed wine cork pumpkin. It is ready to go in decoration in any home for fall. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for joining me. Um, don't forget to check us out on volusialibrary.org or we have a Facebook for Volusia County Library. We also have an Instagram and our YouTube channel where Volusia is getting crafty. Have a good day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.